So, this is going to be just a bit of pointing some things out. Um, it's not going to be a rage video or anything like that, so I know you're probably wanting that, but it's not going to happen ever again. I have been working on impulse control, so that means um, in regards to wanting to overeat, wanting to react in anger, uh, being provoked to do so. But I want to call, um, call some things out. Look, I need... <laughs> There's so many people who like to accuse me of never being able to change, that my past will always follow me. No, my past will follow whoever pays attention to it because me, I'm moving on. I have a right to become a better person. There's a lot of people who want to drag me back down and want me to regress and just be ne miserable and negative like they are. And I say like they are because you can, people like Charlie, people like FFG can sit there on their high horse with their thousands of viewers all day dog crapping on me, whatever. But at the end of the day, you're not any better. Um, so I don't know where this high horse pretense of self-righteous rhetoric comes from. I just find it very hypocritical because Charlie, every time you react to me, you are seething. Like you can hear it in your voice. You try to act composed. You try to act high and mighty. Um, but really it just comes down to you being disgusting in your commentary, talking about my body, body shaming me when you're a larger woman yourself. Actually, um, if I need to remind you that you built your entire audience under the pretense that you would be better than Amberlynn and I, that you would make a difference. You would show everyone how to lose weight, something that Amber Lynn and I could never do, but you're still just talking from the clavicle up, body shaming another obese woman who's trying to better themselves. So that really doesn't make you a better person. It makes you part of the hate train, negative train, and you're always, 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 always going to have to do that to be relevant. Same with FFG. If she talks about anything else, you don't get the views either. If you talk about anything else other than me, you don't get the views. If you, if you, even if you talked about me, if it wasn't a nice way, you wouldn't get the views. There's, you have to be hateful. You have to continue to sell your own soul to get ahead and it, that's not going to last forever everyone has ups and downs in life nobody has perfect good luck streak their whole life it doesn't happen i had my time where i was making a lot of money um but i was miserable at the time that i was making you know 20k a month i was miserable i hated my life i just honestly just consumed the money away now you know i don't make that much But my life is happier, more fulfilling, without financial material things. I also am thankful that I now have a partner who's not financially abusive to me, doesn't take advantage of me, and really, really um, contributes to our life. I mean, I have somebody who has their own business, they earn their own income, and they contribute. And I don't have to worry as much about it, which also really, really has been helpful for me um, trying to get a grip on my own life. I have said some vile, vile, vile things. When I, Cuba Rage, yes, I was acting very vile. I've explained my reasoning. Um, for a lot of people that doesn't excuse it but you know i'm not going to keep beating myself up over um things that i did or said uh, during a time when i was really 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 lost really really emotionally damaged um just horrible and i was just ugh. but comparing to what others have said if you look on twitter if you look on i mean people calling my mother a whore people infertility shaming me um making fun of my weight you know like I don't do that on a daily basis compared to what other people do to me. And so I find it's very, um, it's like almost a weird way of projecting people who like to sit there, use my content and beat up on me all day long. I don't do that and I don't have to do that. And for that, I am so thankful that to the point where I don't even care about my views or my following. Like I care about my loyal supporters. Yes, of course. But beyond that, I'm not here for a popularity contest. To me, this is not a popularity contest. It's not high school. I'm my own person. I'm independent. I make my own content and that's it. I don't know why people like to beat up on me on every little video I do, but that's not my problem anymore. And I realize that that's the difference now is I realize that I don't have to give a reaction to anything. I don't have to rage. I don't have to be negative. I don't have to partake in that drama. It doesn't mean that right now I can't give a calm opinion on everything or on certain things, but it's probably also just not worth it because even these reactors who I'm addressing, nobody knows who they are outside of reacting to me. Honestly, you're still sitting there being super hateful and having to use my content to get any views of your own. So coming for Salah and I for using one video, which was free stock footage, to do a video when you use all of my content every day and the rest of my channel is all original, my original content doesn't even compare whatsoever. Honestly, I'm not even really worried about our channels right now. Like, um, I'm putting more effort into my life, improving my life than I am into my content. And that's just all I can handle right now. That's all I can do. That's just more important to me. Um, Ramadan is more important to me. 
I just don't, I'm just not in the mood to share a lot of things right now. I'm kind of like, you know, putting my head back in my shell for right now. And I just need to do that to protect myself. And, um, just don't ever mistake not reacting as being weak. I hear people say, well, she doesn't fight back, so she's weak. No, not fighting back to somebody who's not worth your attention is the strongest thing you can do in life because that for me has been the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life, ever, hardest. Um, that and overcoming obviously my food issues. Which by the way, again, very hypocritical, people like Charlie who started their channel show, going, to show, um, going to show everybody how she could do what Amberlynn and I couldn't do, but here you are. And you're more nasty than ever when you talk about us. And it's really sad. I don't envy your life at all. I don't envy that you have to be a negative person trying to prove yourself as more nasty and badass in this whole community. Um, it's just, why? I mean, like, are we not adults or what? Anyway, um, you said you were going to delete your channel if you won the weight loss challenge. The challenge never happened and you never lost the weight. And I really don't care. I don't see anyone as less of a person for how much they weigh. I don't, I don't really care. Like, honestly, it's, it's not like a one up because you're a bit smaller than someone else or you're smaller than someone else. I mean, like only God can judge me. I know it's a classic saying, but it's really the truth. Whenever you're done with this life, who's going to judge you? Charlie Gold? FFG is going to be at the pearly gates? I don't think so. So I've really just learned to accept things the way they are and try to just focus on myself. Doing the gym, it's actually feeling really good being so consistent at something for so long. It's It doesn't seem like so, so long. I mean, what, it has like maybe not even been a month yet or whatever, but I still, that's a long time for me. I've had a trouble with consistency, which of course people love to, again, hammer that out. People like to highlight my flaws without even looking at their own because they're reactors, they're not the subject, right? But that's the, I, that's the irony of it, that's the hypocrisy of it, is that none of these people are any better. Actually, they've said a lot of worse things and do a lot of worse things. I heard someone say, like, who wants to watch? somebody like me, fat, or whatever, uh, boring. <laughs> if you use all of my content every single day, how? This doesn't even make any sense. As for former Beezer, Missy Moo, uh, I don't really, I don't really want to give her much attention because that's exactly what she wants right now. But to say that you bullied people for me is a total, total lack of taking any adult responsibility for the action, your own actions and what you say. FYI, bestie, I didn't dox anybody, so don't you start that bullshit or I will post every last thing you put in those DMs to me and the voice messages that were sent to Adam, which a couple of them that Salah sent are pretty personal. The only thing I sent to you about anyone was T and Sass' daughter, and I said, someone emailed this to me because I happened to have my email on Facebook, on my YouTube, and I said, I'm sending it to you so you can see and understand she's probably projecting into us because we're overweight and her daughter's overweight. You chose to share that picture. It was sent personally to your DM. So who did the doxing? You, not me. So don't you dare post that bull, say that bullshit on me. I never asked you to white knight for me. I never ask any Beezers to do any of that. I don't tell people to attack other people. I don't tell people to come to my defense. I don't need it. I don't need people to come to my defense for me i'm fine but i never ever ever asked you ever to do any of these things for me you actually look um very ridiculous to now sit there and completely 180 and contradict everything you've said and done for years you can all sit there on your high horse um thinking i'll never change um i've proven you wrong with so many things that you never thought i could do um people underestimate me a lot and again uh, silence is not weakness. Silence is golden. Silence is a sign of self-restraint, of maturity. And why would I give my attention and fight back with people who are not worth it? Why? I just can't. Because people rely on these reactions to do their own reactions. And if they, if I don't, they ruminate over old things I used to do. Like uh, the level of obsession with my life is weird on all fronts, on all fronts. Charlie is no better than FFG in that way, you know, at all. Like, because she's still probably live right now talking about me. <laughs> like there's probably somebody live right now talking about me in a hypocritical way, you know? And it's just weird. Now they have this whole I'm an animal abuser thing to to justify to justify their actions further. Um, so it, it's I realize it's never going to stop. I'm, stop. I'm always going to be targeted and that's fine. If you want me to be your beating post, go for it. Again, that's all on you. It has nothing to do with me. What people say and how people treat me is none of my business. So I'm in another country. So again, lesson here is running your mouth. How how good of insults you how good how good you can slam somebody. How good you can insult them. Um doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things. It's so easy to tear someone down. It's so easy to insult them. That's, that's lazy content. You call my content lazy, it's even lazier to just sit there and pick apart somebody. Hey there. I bet you had a really tough day. A long day, perhaps. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video on us. Thanks for watching.
to me, being the bigger person and the stronger person is being silent and living your life. The best revenge is living a good life. And, you know, your idea of what a good life is, you know, sitting in a room raging over somebody's content that you hate all day and plotting against them. If that's how you want to live your life, totally fine. That's your idea. I can't dog you for that. It's still the same issue and it always will be. Um, just, you know, Foodie Beauty is boring. Chantel's boring. Her content's boring. But people watch my every single move. Um, they watch every single thing I do. And you know what? I'm grateful for that. Thank you for paying attention to my life, I guess. Alhamdulillah. Like, so again, think, continue to think of me what you want. Ruminate over my leftovers of my past. Do what you have to do to keep any, any, any hate towards me going. It's not my problem anymore. The only thing I'm focused on is my relationship with God, my husband, my family. Just trying to become a better person, man. That's it. I feel like a pig, but you know what? I'm going.